New this morning, protest over the death of Richard Brooks. Once again, stretching well into the night, a group made their way onto this highway near where Brooks was killed in Atlanta. Protesters have gathered every night since Friday. That's when Brooks was killed. Atlanta police say they found him asleep in a Wendy's drive through Body cam video showing officers giving Brooks a sobriety test before arresting him. He resists and manages to grab an officer's taser. Brooks is seen shooting it toward an officer and then running off before an officer shot him. The autopsy said he died from two gunshots to the back. An attorney for the Brooks family questions the way officers handled that situation. You can't say you don't have other options. Where, where was he going to go? He was barely jogging away. You could have boxed him in. Support came in, I think, two minutes. He would have been boxed in and trapped. The day after the shooting, Atlanta's police chief resigned. The officer who shot Brooks was fired. The DA says a decision on charges against that officer will likely come this week. Another officer is on leave in connection to this case.